Fellow magicians, my name is Gary Willett, and welcome to volume four of the Vernon videotape series. With friends Michael Amar and Steve Freeman, we're going to join the professor in a round the table chat as the professor shares with us some of that vast wealth of knowledge he's accumulated during his lifetime. Suspense, a, little too, a little, little too much suspense, <laughs> Professor. <laughs> fooled me, Steve, but I understand I'm not the only one that was fooled by that <laughs> trick. In fact, that was uh, the trick that fooled Tenkai. The professor has this diabolical way of using a person's own move against him. And uh, that was one of the things that the professor showed to Tenkai, which is the Tenkai palm which he subsequently fooled him with. Yeah, but he never used it in that particular in, in this, way. In this context, let me see if I can show it from this side. You know, Professor, you can't go to a magic convention today. I'm very serious. Uh, you can't go to a magic convention today without seeing somebody somewhere perform the Symphony of the Rings. If ever a ring routine has caught popular favor, it's got to be the Symphony of the Rings. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about that ring routine, how it came about. Well. I could write a book about it, <laughs> but I'll tell you that very quickly, as I quickly as I can, I, I always liked the rings. In fact, it was one of the first apparatus tricks, I might call it, I ever owned. I had a set of rings when I was a very small boy, seven or eight years old, and the only time I ever had anything that was really called magical apparatus. But <clears throat> it was done with eight rings. That was the standard way of doing it. And a funny thing, when I worked in the Harlequin act I did, I used only four rings and five, sometimes five, sometimes four. And a fellow who was very jealous went up to Royal, uh, Mr. Royal, the manager, and he said, why do you book this guy called the Harlequin? He said, he doesn't even know how to do the ring trick. The ring, uses, the ring trick is done with eight rings, not four. He doesn't even know how to do the trick. I was trying <laughs> to do it in a different way, that was all. And he claimed that I didn't. He said, the ring trick is done with eight rings. Well, anyway, I always tried to change tricks around a little. And then I heard that Willie Robinson, the famous Ching Lung, Chung Lung Su, he did it with 16 rings. So I got up a routine with 16 rings. <laughs> I fooled around. I've done rings with everything from 2 to 16. And I had 11 ring routine, which was very good. But I wanted to have a simple routine. And I made up the six ring routine, which was made up. It's no good without music. It should be done to music, because it's not a talking trick, although I adapted it for talk when I did it on shows close up. But it's, uh, with music, it's a very effective routine, because it fits in. Uh, the music I used to use was East is West. It was a Chinese lullaby was the name of the song. And I'd say a little oriental atmosphere may stroll, and they'd play the tung 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 you know, and yeah. so on, and go into then there's a very pretty strain that goes da da I, I can't sing anymore. But anyway, it's a very pretty strain. When you do the pretty part of the, the rings, which is pretty, bringing the ring down, it was pretty. A watch, so the music was pretty. And I mean, it adapted itself very well to that music. And so that was the music I used when East is West, called the Chinese Lullaby. <laughs> 